everybody. It's Tuesday's Tea, and today we're talking red clover. Hey everybody, it's me, Kai Man, and it's time for Tuesday's Tea. And we are talking today about red clover blossoms. Now, red clover blossom it is a favorite of the honeybee. Um, it's been around for millennia. Um, it has grown its prominence for being able to prevent breast and ovarian cancer. Um, this is a woman's, um, every woman should really have have red um, clover blossoms in their cupboard. It's good, it's an antioxidant, it's a diuretic, it's actually a sedative. Um, it helps you with higher awareness. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory, it has vitamin E in it, so it's good for skin conditions like eczema and um, psoriasis. Um, it also mimics the estrogen um, hormones and it's a blood thinner, it's a blood purifier. It is good for the treatment of infertility. And it actually is one of the ingredients that we have in Life Astrology's um, infertility. It also is good for menopause as well. It, stim it also it stimulates the immune system. So there's so many um, great um, qualities about the red clover blossom and its medicinal properties is something that every woman should probably have in their cupboard. Um, again, if you're a woman, you know, you have women parts and you need, um, you, you're having issues with menopause, you're having issues with infertility in any type of, you know, um, your ovaries, anything of that nature. Red clover blossom is a great herb to have. You can make it in a tea. Again, um, one tablespoon to, to every eight ounces and you're good to go. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as the website.